Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button, leave a like down below. Today we're going to talk about things that Universe Mode desperately needs for 2K25. Uh, obviously 2K24 is still the main game. 2K25 will be here before you know it. I mean, holy crap, we're going into November already. Like, it'll, it'll be March or April before you know it. Anyway, so here are some things that I would love to see in next year's universe mode or the universe modes going forward. Uh, this is what I think needs to happen. Let's get into this. So universe mode needs a reboot. Universe mode was and is my favorite mode. However, every year the mode is buggy and they don't really do anything to fix it. All they do is add some new broken features like rivalries, the rivalry system. <laughs> uh, when I did get it to work, it was interesting, but they got rid of all the cool cinematics and stuff. So I don't know. It's just they really need to just gut this thing. Anyway, so in, a, in my opinion, this mode needs to be tossed out and rebuilt from the ground up. And that might mean we don't have a universe mode for a couple of years to do this. Uh, because if they just keep throwing in the same universe mode every year while they're working on this new universe mode, uh, I feel like people are just going to keep complaining, 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 and not even touch the mode. Because they're not going to fix it. It's unfixable, I believe, at this point. So they, I really truly believe the only way to get universe mode where it needs to be is to throw out what they have and just start from fresh. Start, start from scratch. Rebuild it from the ground up. Put all the features in. Through, you know, throughout the next few years games, which means the brand new universe mode is going to be bare bones probably for the rest of this generation if they do this. So <laughs> it'll take a while to get it back to where it was, you know. So much like they did with my GM, my GM mode has gotten so much love. It's time for universe mode to get the same TLC. I feel the universe mode could replace my faction if they add the following online co-op player versus player universe mode imagine that use they could use the card system i know i know hear me out though for players to trade roster members and create characters between brands they also could add a level up system just like my gm you could max out your wrestlers to incentivize players to trade wrestlers throughout the season with their friends or enemies. They could even allow cross-promotion title for title matches where you can win other brands' championships. Custom championships would finally have a purpose again outside of just playing exhibition or random universe stuff, especially if that title comes with its history of champions. Let's say that player played, I don't know, 20 years of his universe mode and his championship has 20 years of title holders. How sick would it be to win that and have your characters add to it? One more thing that would really put Universe Mode back on top would be the ability to carry over Universe Mode progress to the next game. Or, this is probably a lot more feasible, or the ability to edit title history and who held the belt starting over every single year really kills this mode for me. Now the only issue with being able to edit the title history is if they do implement some sort of online co-op or PvP mode, uh, then it would have a false lineage in, in that regard. It'd have to be like, if you're going to use this belt for online mode, it can only be used for online mode. You know, it won't track any of the offline lineage, although it kind of defeats the purpose of if you played it for 20 years. They'd really have to really think about how this would work going forward to make that lineage thing actually means something maybe the lineage is only from other players instead of your you know your single player playthroughs you know what that makes a lot more sense now that i think about it it should only track actual players that held the championship throughout you know throughout its history so let's say uh i don't know let's say i upload a championship i lose shocker right i lose all oh, man let's say i lose to someone like mr dubs shout outs to mr dubs my homie over there and he loses it to, oh, I don't know, Assemble or some other big YouTuber, and the lineage just grows and grows and grows, then you have 
this championship online that has this identity that has people start talking about it and i feel like ultra pro wrestling is going to try to do something similar to this with its uh, ultra pro wrestling online stuff the uh, their online promotion where they're going to have the championship on the line i'm still not 100 percent sure how they're going to get that or how they're going to pull that off because that sounds like a nightmare to do but that would be That'd be so cool. They're going to do something that I've always wanted to do with the 2K games, but they're just going to do it right away with their Ultra Pro Wrestling game and have a, a title that you can <laughs> that you can win online. That is that is cool. I know some of the older SmackDown vs. Raw games allowed you to play for title versus title online, uh, but I don't know why they ever got rid of that. Maybe people got too mad or something because all you have to do is recreate the belt or duplicate the belt and you still have your belt. It's just cool just being able to win out some other people's championships because it to me if you were playing online championship for championship and you know things get real like you're playing for keeps then and when you win someone else's championship that they poured their heart and soul in creating that belt has a lot more meaning than winning just the base belts that are in the game in the other modes to me the whole belt thing just that's how you get people to care about online and Ultra Pro Wrestling creators, Sam and all them, they understand this. I think Ultra Pro Wrestling is going to steal pretty much all of the competitive players if the game hits when it when it launches or when it releases. I want to say next year, but anything anything's possible. I feel like Ultra Pro Wrestling really is going to be the greatest wrestling game of all time, and I cannot wait to play it. But anyway, that's a topic for another video. So what are some things, in closing... That you want to see added to universe mode or changes you want to see do you want to see them rebuild it from the ground up like i suggest or do you just want them to fix what they have because the mode has tons of features and it's super fun when it works but the fact that we start over every single year kind of kills the mode in my opinion anyway sign off the comments below thank you for watching and stay frosty champion who knows the title is going nowhere tonight yeah cole but it shouldn't mean he can take this match lightly a champion always represents a measuring stick to the competition a chance to make a bold statement at the expense of someone in a prime position the champ is truly in a prime position tonight this might be a preview of his next title fight right now and across the ring the champ is going to face one of the toughest competitors and into the count able to get that shoulder up so quickly what a statement oh Pile driver on its way. Sit down, pile driver. And a human being can only be spiked like that so many times before they're ultimately down for the count. Into the corner. This can't be good. Boom Off into the pin. Two manages to escape before. Three count. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. A well-timed dodge. Oh, ouch. Power bomb position. Going down, punches and counters out. Probably not gonna win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goat's curse is in effect. I can't stand this. Oh, what a great escape. Shoulder tackle. Oh. oh, here it comes. Spiked. Sit out. Pile driver. Efficient offense leaving no breathing room. He's bringing a Uh-oh. Way too oh, and he doesn't connect. Big hammer connects. Oh man, he is fired up now. Oh, bell clap. From the second row. Goodness. And shoulders are down. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. He is going to take this match as. Knees right to the jaw. Just like he envisioned. Try to end it. There's a shoulder up almost immediately. Where in the world does one find such strength at this stage to kick out? That early in the count. That was plan A, and it didn't work. He had great trouble here. Can he get fully locked in? 
Oh, I'm going to take all the breath out of the body. I have no idea how he hasn't tapped out yet. All the heart, all his desire. Oh, a couple of knees there. That'll get him out of it. Ooh, one of the elbow counters that. This looks like the setup to... He's got to be running on instinct alone. And the heaviest hitter in the arsenal was not enough. Ooh, quick knee to the gut. Look at this, going counter for counter. Brutal knee right to the face. Springboard off. He can end it here. He's got him. You guys think that this will finally end this rivalry? This big deal.